So I'm driving up and down Main Street here in Grapevine, Texas. You know, the official Christmas capital of the state? But it also has the dubious distinction of being the state's capital for license plate surveillance. Grapevine has empty police cars like this one with no one in it. But the car is using a license plate reader to capture your plate number. Empty police cars parked for hours, sometimes all day, capturing your plate. The ACLU reported back in 2013 that Grapevine alone scans an average of 14,547 plates per day, with 2 million stored in the controversial database with no data policy. Surveillance cameras like these are recording, scanning, and storing all this information in a database. Some cameras are perched over intersections, some mounted on police cars, and others look like basic security cameras. But the truth is, people rarely notice them. Pretty indifferent about it. It doesn't really bother me one way or the other. I just think it keeps track of people stealing things out in front of people's stores. Well, if you look at our license plate, it probably has a lot of more information in the system than we know it does. So it would be nice if we knew what they were doing with it. Wow, more of this uh, on this Big Brother nonsense, Lawrence Jones. This is a really interesting report because yeah. I see these everywhere, and I go to Grapevine, and I and I always think because everyone always argues, well, these are just they're just red light cameras. They're just there to just give you a ticket right. if you run a red right. light, which is a whole. I mean, I dislike those as well. But how how prevalent are are these cameras? I mean, they're all over in Grapevine. They're all over Grapevine, and the reason is because the federal government they applied for a grant with the Homeland Security. So Homeland Security are the ones paying for this. Did were things really that bad in Grapevine with gang crime and theft and everything <laughs> no. else that they needed to get no, on these cameras? No, there's not that much crime in. It's the Christmas capital, that's like it, you that's said, it, that's Lauren. It. Everybody comes to Grapevine. It's a safe environment. I mean, Dana. I live right down the street from Grapevine in that same area, so I know Grapevine is one of the nicest places. Yeah. But people are deceived. They don't know what the actual intent of these cameras are. I mean, for me, before I started researching this, I just thought, okay, look, these are j just, you know, the cops are really trying to survey and it's to help crime and, you know, just, but it's not that. It's about privacy. 